Well, hey guys, long time no see. I took a little break. I didn't even know I was going to take uh, a break. It just kind of happened. Uh, it's one of those things that I, I think I kind of hit a block uh, with just a lot of time, a lot of uh, different things that were going on and, and a lot of different uh, uh, things that were you know tugging me in all kinds of different directions. But uh, I kind of took a break from making the regular videos, but I did keep up on the lives. Uh, and so you guys didn't have to miss out on me too long, but I did miss making a regular video. And I was thinking about this video for a while uh, because I uh, love copperheads. I love the case copperhead in particular. So I thought I'd go over my case copperhead collection because I have a new one, uh, new to me anyways. Uh, so this is... Uh, We'll kind of go over the copperhead and we'll compare it with some sizes and some other stuff. But let's get let's dive right into this. Uh, here you go. This is the case copperhead. This was the first one that I bought of the case copperheads, the yellow Delrin in uh, CV. And I thought that this was a very well put together uh, knife for the vault pattern. But I wanted to get a yellow one because you know the yellow ones, especially the ones in CV. Those are going to be the users. Now you notice it does have a half stop and this is the clip point. But what I love about this is that you get a really decent size secondary pen blade. Uh, just fantastic size. I think that uh, really handy, really uh, uh, very sweet knife. Uh, but I do like these. Now I really am a fan of the uh, clip point blade and so most of the ones I got are the clip point, but let's go into some size comparisons. This fits right exactly in the middle. So here is a case full-size trapper. This is my red G10. And so easily it is, uh, you know, just smaller than that. But here for a size comparison, this is a case mini trapper, which, uh, I, I love the mini trappers. They're great. My only regret on uh, mini trappers is I don't have more of them, but that will all come in the future. But as you can see, the copperhead is a great size. So it's still smaller than a regular trapper, very pocketable. Uh, the mini trappers are super pocketable, great knives to have if you want one. Like I said, I usually carry a trapper in a belt sheath, a full-size trapper, but the, uh, the copperhead is very comfortable to carry pocket wise. Now you say, RJ, I'm not a trapper guy. I don't know trappers from nothing. All right, we can do that too. How about this? Here is a case 75 Stockman. It's my good looking uh, crimson bone one. So as you can see, it, it fits in there. Here is the 47 pattern, also in the yellow Delrin. So as you can see, it's right there with the 47. And then if you want an 18, here is my latest 18 pattern. So we'll take the 47 away. And you see it's right there, just a little bit bigger than an 18. And the 18 is probably the most popular of the uh, Stockmans. So now you have a good idea of the sizes of these as far as uh you know i'm sure you have a knife that is similar in size we'll put our the yellow one here we'll kind of go in the order of when i picked these up uh the next one i got the uh rogers jigging and this has that kind of a hot dog shield i forget the proper name for it but uh looks like a hot dog to me but really like how they uh they burned the uh the bone there, it just really looks great. And of course, like I said, the half stops, this one is in the uh, stainless steel because not all uh, combinations come with the uh, carbon steel. So we had that. And then I had to get one in the uh, amber peach seed jig bone just because you always, can get every pattern with this the peach seed jig and that it's just an awesome awesome bone that 
clip has a very light uh, pull on it. Uh, but still, this was uh, kind of like just to go with my amber peach seed jig sub collection that I have. I still have never finished that, but something that I'm definitely working on uh, someday, maybe. <laughs> I don't know if it'll ever be finished, but it's fun to collect them. But then I, I kind of regret, I only got one of these single blade ones, and this is in the red synthetic, has the arrowhead shield, uh, chrome vanadium for the uh, blade, and it's in this kind of a uh, acid stone wash finish, which I think looks really super, super great. I wish Case would do a few more of their carbon knives like this. I think that that just looks awesome. Now they call it a uh, copperhead because of this bolster that comes and it covers over the uh, tang. So kind of a, a snakehead type uh, bolster, but that's where the copperhead gets its name. On the other end, it's just a cap and there is that. Now, here is my latest one. And I got this from uh, Gunslinger Cal. And so this is a blue bone, which I think is awesome because uh, I kind of have a blue bone sub collection of case knives also. But I don't know if you noticed anything different about this one. And that is that the pen blade is on the show side. If you look here on the show side, you got the uh, clip and your pen is behind. So that is different. So you still got the half stops and this, here's your case head stamp. This is, uh, I forget exactly the year, but this is in the, uh, the late 20 teens. Uh, I should have done that before, but Hey, what the heck? And it's a Warncliffe, but this is in the SS stainless steel, but really interesting, an interesting piece. I don't know how many have the uh, pen on the uh, show side. So that's just kind of interesting. Or I don't know if they just did that with the uh, Warncliffe type blades. But really pretty jigging on the bone. Looks fantastic. Just a, a really great, great piece. So I'll have to definitely thank Cal for sending that over. So there you go. There's my copperheads at the moment uh i'll keep an eye out you know who knows i'll maybe pick up some more in the future it's just one of those things that uh that you never know anyways glad to be back guys uh and yes there'll be more more videos coming this week and uh definitely we'll see you on the live we'll see you guys in the next one talk to you later